Hello friends, welcome back to our channel SMDT Corner. Today we are going to study an interesting chapter of class 10 and the chapter is trigonometry. Watch a clip to understand the father of trigonometry. What is trigonometry? Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics which deals the relationship between sides and angles of a triangle. The word trigonometry is derived from a Greek language tri, cono, metron. Tri means three, cono means sides, and metron means measurement. The whole chapter of trigonometry we are going to use only one triangle, and the triangle is right angle triangle. What is right angle? The exactly 90 degree angle is called right angle. The right angle consists of three main sides: opposite side, adjacent side, and hypotenuse. The side which is opposite to angle theta is called opposite side and the side which is opposite to right angle is called hypotenuse and the last remaining side is adjacent side and we have to know trigonometric ratios and we have 6 trigonometric ratios and they are sin, cos, tangent, cotangent, secant and lost cosecant. Let us take a triangle ABC, angle A is equal to theta and angle B is equal to 90 degrees then sin theta is equal to opposite side to theta by hypotenuse and cos theta is equal to adjacent side to theta by hypotenuse and tan theta is equal to opposite side to theta by adjacent side to theta and cot theta is equal to adjacent side to theta by opposite side to theta secant theta is equal to hypotenuse by adjacent side to theta lost cosecant theta is equal to hypotenuse by opposite side to theta we have to know the reciprocals of trigonometric ratios sin theta is a reciprocal of 1 by cosecant theta and cos theta is a reciprocal of 1 by secant theta. Tan theta is a reciprocal of 1 by cot theta. And let us solve few examples related to these trigonometric ratios. Example If tan A is equal to 3 by 4, then find the other trigonometric ratios of angle A. They have given. Given. tan theta is equal to 3 by 4 we know that we know that tan theta is equal to opposite side to theta by adjacent side to theta right opposite side to theta by adjacent side to theta that equal to what is opposite side here opposite side is BC and adjacent side is AB that equal to BC is 3 and AB is 4 centimeters before finding the other trigonometric ratios we have to find the side AC how can we find the side AC yes by using by using Pythagoras theorem by using Pythagoras theorem we can find easily yes what is Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to sum of square of other two sides yes hypotenuse square equal to sum of square of other two sides hypotenuse square we know sc square and side square we know the bc square that equal to 3 square plus side square 4 square yes AC square is equal to 3 square 9 plus 4 square 16 ac is equal to root 25 ac is equal to square root 25 yes root 5 square square root get cancel and ac is equal to 5 centimeters and we can find easily the other trigonometric ratios let us find first sin theta that equal to opposite side to theta by 
अपोजिट साइड टू टीटा वाई हाइपोटनस दट इक्वल टू वाट इज अपोजिट साइड हियर बी सी इज अपोजिट साइड एंड हाइपोटनस इज ए सी यस थ्री बाई फाइव साइन टीटा इज इक्वल टू थ्री बाई फाइव नेक्स्ट कॉस्टिटा कॉस्टिटा इज एडजस्टेंट साइड टू टीटा बाई हाइपोटनस hypotenuse that equal to what is adjacent side here adjacent side is ab by hypotenuse ac that equal to 4 by 5 next we know tan theta and we have to find cot theta cot theta is a reciprocal of tan theta right yes adjacent side to theta by Opposite side to theta. What we get? If tan theta is equal to three by four, then cot theta is equal to four by three. Why? Because it is a reciprocal of tan theta. And next, secant theta is a reciprocal of cos theta. Secant theta is equal to yes, hypotenuse by adjacent. Then, if cos theta is equal to four by five, then secant theta is equal to five by four. Why? Because yes, secant theta is a reciprocal of cos theta. And last, cosecant theta. Cosecant theta is equal to hypo by opposite side. Yes, cosecant theta is a reciprocal of sine theta. If sine theta is equal to three by five, then cosecant theta is equal to five by Three. We know the further of trigonometry, and we know the trigonometric ratios, and we know the sides of the triangle, and we know the reciprocals of the triangle, and we have to know the angles of trigonometric ratios. And watch a clip to understand the angles of trigonometric ratios, and come back after watching the video. Let us see the values of trigonometric ratios of all above mentioned in the form of table. Angle A is equal to zero degrees. 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. If sine A is equal to zero degrees, then sine zero degrees zero. Sine 30 degrees one by two. Sine 45 one by two two. Sine 60 to three by two. Sine 90 one. Then cos zero degrees one. Cos thirty root three by two. Cos forty five one by root two. Cos sixty one by two. Cos ninety zero. Tan zero zero. Tan thirty one by root three. Tan forty five one. Tan sixty root three. Tan ninety not defined. Not defined. Cot cot zero not defined. Cot zero not defined. Cot thirty to three. Cot forty five one. Cot sixty to three by two. Cot ninety zero. Second zero one. Second thirty two by root three. Second forty five root two. Second sixty two. Second ninety. Not defined. Not defined. Cosecant zero. Not defined. Cosecant thirty two. Cosecant forty five two two. Cosecant sixty two by root three. Cosecant ninety one. And let us solve a few examples related to the angles of trigonometric ratios. Two tan square forty five degrees plus cos square thirty degrees plus sin square sixty degrees. Let us find the example. What they have given? They have given two tan square forty five degrees plus 
cos square 30 degrees minus sin square 60 degrees that equal to 2 into tan square tan 45 degrees yes 1 that equal to 2 into 1 square plus cos square 30 degrees root 3 by 2 cos 30 degrees root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 whole square minus sin 60 yes root 3 by 2 whole square that equal to 2 into 1 square 1 plus root 3 whole square by 2 square 2 square minus 3 square by 2 square that equal to square root get cancel and square root get cancel what we get 2 plus 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 by 1 is 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 and the LCM is 8 plus 3 minus 3 by 4 that equal to 3 minus 3 0 that equal to 8 by 4 4 1 is 4 4 2 is 8 that equal to 2 let us solve another example secant square 60 degrees minus tan square 60 degrees sin square 30 degrees plus cos square 30 degrees that's fine they have given secant square 60 degrees minus tan square 60 degrees by sin square 30 degrees plus cos square 30 degrees yes secant square the value of secant square 60 degrees is 2 yes that equal to 2 square minus tan 60 degrees root 3 equal to root 3 whole square by sin square 30 1 by 2 whole square plus cos 30 root 3 by 2 3 by 2 whole square that equal to 2 square 4 minus square root get cancel that equal to 3 by 1 square 1 by 2 square 4 minus root 3 square by 2 square that equal to 4 minus 3 1 by 1 by 4 minus square root get cancel 3 by 4 sorry this is plus that equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 that equal to 1 by 4 by 4 equal to 1 equal to 1 and we have to know an important topic and that is trigonometric ratios of complementary angles what is complementary angle? If the sum of two angles is equal to 90 degrees, then the angle is said to be complementary angle. And watch a clip to understand trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. Let us have a look on trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. If sin 90 minus x is equal to cos x, then cos 90 minus x is equal to sin x. Then tan 90 minus x is equal to cot x and cot 90 minus x is equal to tan x ok secant 90 minus x is equal to cosecant x cosecant 90 minus x is equal to secant x ok let us solve an examples related to the trigonometric ratios of complementary angle evaluate secant 35 degrees by cosecant 55 degrees we know that Cosecant x is equal to secant 90 degree minus x, right? Then cosecant 55 degrees equal to cosecant 90 degree minus 35 degrees. Cosecant 55 degree is equal to cosecant 90 minus x that equal to secant x. Secant 90 minus x is equal to cosecant 90 minus x. 
सेकेंड थर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज नौ सेकेंड थर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज बाई तो सेकेंड थर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज इक्वल टू सेकेंड थर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज बाई इट एज सब्सिट्यूट क्वेश्चन फिफ्टी फाइव इज इक्वल टू सेकेंड थर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन फिफ्टी फाइव इज इक्वल टू सेकेंड थर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज देन सेकेंड थर्टी फाइव सेकेंड थर्टी फाइव डिग्री कैंसल एंड दैट इक्वल टू वन एंड अवर लास्ट टॉपिक इज टेक्नोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटीज वी हैव थ्री टेक्नोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटीज साइन स्क्वायर टीटा प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर टीटा इज इक्वल टू वन सीकेंड स्क्वायर टीटा माइनस टैन स्क्वायर टीटा इज इक्वल टू वन क्वेश्चन स्क्वायर टीटा माइनस कॉट स्क्वायर टीटा इज इक्वल टू वन एंड लेट अस सॉल्व ए फ्यू एग्जांपल्स रिलेटेड टू द टेक्नोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटीज लेट अस सॉल्व ए न्यू एग्जांपल शो दैट टैन स्क्वायर टीटा प्लस टैन पावर फोर टीटा इज इक्वल टू सीकेंड पावर फोर टीटा माइनस सीकेंड स्क्वायर टीटा देन वी हैव टू प्रूव एल एच एस इज इक्वल टू आर एच एस वॉट इज एल एच एस इयर एल एच एस इज टैन स्क्वायर डेटा प्लस टैन पावर फोर डेटा दैट इक्वल टू इन टैन स्क्वायर डेटा प्लस टैन पावर फोर डेटा टैन स्क्वायर डेटा इज अ कॉमन सो वी विल राइट टैन स्क्वायर डेटा टू वन प्लस टैन स्क्वायर डेटा दैट इक्वल टू टैन स्क्वायर डेटा वन प्लस टैन स्क्वायर डेटा इज नथिंग बट सेकेंड स्क्वायर डेटा That equal to tan square theta. We can write as secant square theta minus one into secant square theta. That equal to secant square theta into secant square theta minus one. Then that equal to secant power four theta minus secant square theta. That equal to आर एच एस वी हैव प्रूव दट एल एच एस इज इक्वल टू आर एच एस एंड फ्रेंड्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑथर ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री द साइड्स ऑफ रेट एंगल ट्राइंगल एंड ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज एंड रेसी फोकस ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज एंड द एंगल्स ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज एंड ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशोज ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स एंड ऑल्सो ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटीज In our next video, we are going to solve the whole exercises related to this chapter. And friends, if you are new to our channel, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon because it will help me a lot to make new videos as well as it will help me to enhance my skills and it will support me to make new educational videos. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button. And if you have any doubts regarding to this chapter. please comment me in comment section and i will try to solve as well as i will try to make a new video on your doubt and share this information to your friends and thank you for watching our video